for more than one century, Great Britain has dominated world motorsport. How many world champions has this great nation produced? How many famous marks has England produced over the years when it comes to motorsport and motoring? Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Ian Sylvestrin, and I am delighted to bring you our exclusive live coverage of the 2017 CIK FIA OK Direct Drive and Junior World Championships from this, the Paul Fletcher International Circuit here in Lincolnshire, England, around about 100 miles or 150 odd kilometres north of the British capital of London. We are back in England for the World Championships for the first time since 2013 and no one is more delighted to have the race back here than the race director, Mr. Nigel Edwards. You may know the name, he is the race director for all the European and World Championship events and he's also very heavily involved in the Trent Valley Kart Club, the host circuit for this incredible event. And we spoke to Nigel about the PF circuit hosting this, the biggest race of the year, here in his backyard. Edwards, normally we welcome people to the program, but this weekend you are welcoming us to your home circuit. We certainly are, and you're all very, very welcome. We're so proud to have everybody here from all over the world of karting. Uh, it's just a fantastic weekend for us all. We just hope everybody enjoys it, so very warm welcome in. Thank you, Nigel. Of course, the World Championships this weekend, but let's start with the sport of karting itself. How important is kart racing for a young racing driver? Well, he said young racing driver. He might actually want to become a go-kart professional, you know. So, hey, um, no, karting for me is, is mega important. Uh, this weekend, for example, we've got our ASN here uh, bringing in 120 guests. Some of these people will never have seen karting, but like I explained to them, the young boys and girls that you see here are learning their trade. When they come to you, hopefully if we've done a good job, then they've learned the trade. So for me, karting is mega. We don't even have to explain, uh, you know, the names will just reel off the tongue when you talk Formula One with Hamiltons and Buttons. And you know, there's new people coming along like Lando Norris, George Russell and people like that, just steeped in karting history. You know, that's what karting's all about. Nigel, let's talk about your role as the race director for the CIK FIA all over Europe, the World Championships here at your home circuit. What are the some of the things you cover in the race briefings? Uh, race briefings, pretty important, but for, for me, the thing that I like to get across is keep it very simple and keep it very short, strict, and to the point. There's no point talking about all sorts of hairy fairy, you know, this is it, this is what we're gonna do, guys, this is how it's gonna work. Do we all understand, are we all on the same page? Yes. Two things for me that are most important. One is obviously safety, safety for the drivers, safety for the marshals on the track, so everybody understands how that works, flags, flag signals, etc. But also very important from the fairness of the competition. Obviously we're out there, we are the eyes and ears of what's going on on the track. We are helped by the cameras obviously, which is great. But those are the two things I want to get across. But again, the briefing has to be very precise so people go away from there, clearly understanding what your rules are. Nigel, thanks for hosting us for this, the biggest race of the year, the World Championships. We look forward to your officiating this afternoon here at PFI. Thank you very much indeed. You are all very welcome. And I know it's going to be just an absolutely brilliant Sunday afternoon. Thank you. Absolutely, it is the very well-respected Nigel Edwards, who as a driver started racing way back in the 1960s. Well, there is the grid. This is the World Championship final here at PFI in England. To the left of your screen, you can see the pole sitter, Harry Thompson. To the right of your screen is Christopher Lullum. They're both from just down the road in London. Thompson, second in the European Championships. He was fastest qualifier on Friday night. He starts this on pole. He's in red hot form. Could he become Britain's 10th ever world championship champion? We spoke to Thompson here at PFI. Harry Thompson, it's been a big week for you, of course, just announced as a Red Bull driver. We'll get to that in a moment, but you have taken pole position in qualifying for the world championships. Looking good this weekend. Yeah, um, so far we've had a good week, week slash weekend. It's going well at the minute and we'll see what we can do. Of course, let's get back to that big announcement during the week, announced as one of the Red Bull racing drivers. Tell us about that. Yeah, um, it's obviously a big high being announced as a Red Bull driver. It's just 
good to know that we're being recognised at the minute and we'll just see what happens in the future. Of course, Ricky's team, Ricky Flynn Motorsport, three times world champions. Can you make it four here this afternoon in England? Yeah, we'll see. I'll, I'll try. I'll do my best. I think we have a good chance, so we'll see what happens. Harry, you are an Englishman. You live in London or just outside, of course. What is it like to race the biggest race of the year here on home soil? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a very good opportunity, to say the least. Um, it's local, so we'll be able to see what we can do. And Harry, this is the biggest, best junior field assembled in years for the World Championships. Who are you tipping as your main rivals for the title? Well, over the past couple of days, Dexter Patterson and all of the Forza boys have been fast. So, And J Jack's been fast as well, so we'll see what we can do. The Englishman, Harry Thompson from London. Best of luck racing the World Championships this afternoon here in England. Thank you. He is a super talent and he really is the driver to beat here this afternoon. As I say, fastest qualifier on Friday evening. He lines up on pole. The British drivers dominate the front of the grid. We'll go for, through that for you before the race gets underway. You can see the grid girls leaving the circuit. That means we are just moments away from the start of this, the 2017 CIK Junior World Cup Racing Championships. It was less than 12 months ago we were racing in the desert of Bahrain. Victor Martins was victorious on that day. He's not racing this weekend. We will have a new world champion. And many are saying, who can stop Mr. Thompson? That's in 102. But to the right of your screen is Christopher Lullum for Forza Racing. They are the reigning European champions with Johnny the Englishman, Edgar. But Johnny, only 41st in time practice has had to come through from 14th on the grid in each of the heats and go through into the final in grid 26. We had 94 junior drivers racing here this weekend. We're down to the best 34 and we're just moments away from the start here at the Paul Fletcher International Circuit in Lincolnshire. The mechanics rise to the feet as does the pack crowd in the grandstand and on the hill here at PFI. One driver will write their name into history this afternoon. Britain has had nine world karting champions since the sport's inception in 1963. Or championship's inception, I should say. Will it be 10 this afternoon? We are just 19 laps from finding out. Thompson and Lullum, both from London, on the front row of the grid. Ricky Flynn Motorsport and Forza Racing. Huge tension. Huge excitement. We are ready for this. The Junior World Championship here in England. The carts are pushed into life. The 125cc direct drive category. They come under the Litchfield Bridge. The two formation laps, the Vega tyres. Coming up to temperature. Slightly overcast. But a relatively warm 18 degrees. Here is the grid. Thompson and Lullum. The Scott Dexter Patterson and the boy from Barbados, Zane Maloney, on the second row. The Russian Alexei Brixan and the boy from Brazil, Gabriel Bortoletto, out of grid number six. Jumping Jack Dewan and Antoine Potti on the fourth row of the grid. Then Tyler Gonzalez, who's been awesome. The American on nine alongside Dino Boganovich. Bosco Simmons, Luca Grigsy Griggs. Out of 13, O'Neill Morse, Shihab al Habsi from Oman in the Middle East. Manding, Famularo. Then we go to Jules Metatal, Mulsdale, Leonardo Marcella. The 11th row of the grid, Victor Bernier, Luigi Coluccio, Frederick Kickenberg, Francesco Pizzi, Charles Martinez. And look at that, Johnny, the Englishman, Edgar, out of grid number 26. He will need to drive the race of his life if he, if he is to add the World Championship to his European title here this afternoon. The crowd lined the circuit. Look at them here at PFI. Several thousand spectators, including the two-time Formula One World Champion Fernando Alonso here, watching these boys go to war over the following 19 laps. The English drivers, first and second, then that's the Scott. So there's two Forza Racing and two Ricky Flynn Motorsport team drivers on the front two rows of the grid. The red and white machines run by Jamie Croxford. RFM, obviously, from Ricky Flynn, who himself has a driver 
took out the Formula Renault British Championship 26 years ago. We are ready for the start. Thompson and Lullum, they round the Mike Wilson curves. They come up to the line. The field looked pretty good. The Junior World Championship is green for 2017. Thompson leads down into the first corner. A good start by Dexter Patterson. The Forza Racing Team drivers two and three. Lullum has to go a little bit defensive. Maloney up the inside. Maloney goes side by side as they come over the Litchfield Bridge for the first time. Thompson is the race leader. They race down the hill. There is Bortoletto, goes defensive. The Brazilian in the CRG. 1-0-7. He's made a good start, a move for the lead. It's come early. It's gonna be the first of many. Dexter Patterson now leads the Junior World Championship here in England. The RFM team drivers, two and three. Then we go back to Christopher Lullum. Started on the front row, but the outside didn't get the best start. He's back and forth. Then we go to Bortoletto, the CRG, the Brazilian. In P5, Antoine Potti in the Cosmic Cart is in sixth. They come across the line for the first time. This is the order. The boy from up over the border, Scotland, Dexter Patterson, leads Thompson. They go over the Ripple Strip, Mullaney, Lullum, Bortoletto, Potti, Brixan, doing back into eighth spot. Not making it past the first lap is Metatal Kickenberg, and can you believe it? A problem for Johnny Edgar. He's down in 33rd position. His race is effectively over before the end of the second lap. The RFM team cards, they retake the lead. The Forza Racing drivers, they fight amongst themselves. It's Patterson, then Lullum. This is only the second of 19 laps. Thompson, the race leader, under pressure. From the boy from Bridgetown Barbados, Zane Maloney. Potty in sixth place over the back of the Brazilian Portoletto, just being shadowed by Jumping Jack. So the Vega tyres now certainly up to temperature. There is Thompson being hounded by Maloney. Simmons, Gonzalez, Brixan, they ran out the top 10. Again, not a good start from the Russian. He's been quick, but has not got off the line in any of his heats, and likewise in the final. Dewan now moves up into position number six behind Antoine Potti. The VDK racing at Cosmic Cart, the reigning world junior champions, of course, as a team. The Belgian, can he make it two in a row after Victor Martins took the title? The race in the desert, Bahrain in 2016. As we go back to the front, Thompson under enormous pressure from Maloney. P3 is the Scott Dexter Patterson into the Mike Wilson curves. The field starting to bunch up. It is super hard to lead here in England. Like leading the peloton in the Tour de France, you will be caught. And Thompson is withstanding tremendous pressure. There is Lullum, P4, under the Litchfield Bridge. Maloney just shadowing him. He will need to do something fast on his teammate. Wow, down the inside, Maloney takes the lead. For the first time in history, we have a driver from the Caribbean nation of Barbados leading the World Cup Racing Championships. But it's only for about 100 metres because the whiz Scott Dexter Patterson has gone through. Maloney tries to get him back. They go side by side. The RFM team drivers are fighting amongst themselves. Harry did not like that. He says, let's get on with it. Patterson is walking away with this one on the fourth lap. Three in the books, they come round. The Mike Wilson curse, what a race. Look at the freight train. One, three to eight. Patterson will lead them across the line, the gap. Let's see if he can make something of it. Thompson knows he needs to get on with it. Back into third, the early race leader. And under pressure from Chris Lullum Potty being hounded by Jumping Jack, who cannot find a way past. Himself is being pressured by Alex Simmons, another Brit. They come down the hill in the slipstream. Thompson looks behind, up the inside. Nice move by Chris Lullum from pole position from the lead. Thompson is now back in fourth. Patterson is indeed accelerating away from the rest of the field. Zane Maloney from Barbados. The gap 0.4 of a second. 
This is coming up to the end of the fifth lap. A slight break from the two RFM and two Forza Racing Team drivers. Back to the VDK pilot of Antoine Potti. Doing in P6. Then it's Simmons Bortoletto back to eighth. Tyler Gonzalez from Orlando in Florida in position number nine. Then O'Neill Muth, the Belgian born German, rounds out the 10. So Patterson with a gap of 0.6 of a second. Back to Maloney. Lullum up the inside, retakes him coming up over the bridge. Forza Racing running one and two. I have to remind you, Johnny Edgar did not finish the first lap. The reigning European champion is out. He joins the Dane Frederick Kickenberg on the sidelines of this race as Potty goes up the inside. We've lost one of the RFM cards. It is Maloney. He is out. You saw it right before your very eyes. The yellow flag is out. Maloney is a retirement. Contact Thompson was also involved in that one. Look how that freight train of nine cars has spread out. Let's take a look at the replay. Down the inside, Maloney tried to make the move. Oh, it was actually Potty coming from a long way back. Controversy here in England. Maloney has been taken out. Simmons also falling down the order. Was he in the top 10? We'll recap it for you in a moment. No doubt, Forza Racing run one and two. Patterson, Lullum, Thompson, Bortoletto is now back into fourth. Gonzalez P5. How about Luca Grixi Griggs? Now into sixth. Al Habsi, O'Neill Muth, Bosco ninth, Antoine Potty. There he is, back in 10th spot. The other big loser is Jumping Jack, doing in P13. The driver who dominated the final round of the European Championships in Sweden. Caught up trying to avoid the stranded Barbados driver. He is, let's try and see, is still circulating. Zane Maloney managed to keep it going, but he's falling way down the field. Forza racing the reigning European champions. As a team with their driver, Johnny Edgar, he is out, along with Kickenberg and Simmons. So the team run one and two. Lullum in second with a 57-1-9 last time around. Thompson back in third. But he's at 1.2 seconds behind his London neighbor, Christopher Lullum. Bortoletto, the Brazilian, in P4. Then it's Gonzalez, Griggs, Alhabsi, Bosco, O'Neill Muth. Alexi Brixam, the Russian from south of that nation, grew up racing around the Sochi Autodrome kart circuit just on the Black Sea. The team baby race team driver. Russia has never had a world karting champion. Brixam is their best hope here in the junior class. And I'm trying to rack my memory if Scotland ever has. Certainly Britain has nine world champions over the years. The Brits run one, two, and three, but it is the Scot who leads the two Englishmen, then the American, Tyler Gonzalez, up into P4. There's Thompson going through. We wait, and that was Tyler Gonzalez, the American, in the Cosmic Kart. Ignore the fact that he's got a Tony Kart race suit on. The 186 Kart absolutely flying from grid number nine. The American, one step off the podium. Doing there in 11th from Bernier Potti, Rosso Famularo. Maloney has managed to keep it going despite the fact that he was turned sideways. He sits just ahead of Doohan, his Ricky Flynn Motorsport teammate in position 10. Look how the field have spread out. Eight tenths of a second between the two Forza Racing Team drivers. I can tell you Jamie Croxford, the team manager, team owner, will have no fingernails left. Harry Thompson in P3. There's Gonzalez Bortoletto. Al Habsi Greeks, the two M Sport team drivers, Bosco, Muth, Maloney, Duan, Bernier, Potti, Rosso, Mandin, Famolaro, the Spendia, Charles Martinez, Brixen has fallen down to 18th position as the gap closes between Patterson and Lullum. There will be no team orders in this, be assured. There will be no Lewis Nico style arrangement in this one. Not that there ever was. We should suggest Forza Racing, the Scott versus the Englishman. But it's not Johnny, it's Chris Lullum. Started the team, started the season racing with a different team. Turned up to PFI 
with Forza Racing after doing some private testing and wow, has it paid dividends. They come under the Litchfield Bridge. We have now passed half race distance. The gap is down to 0.5 of a second between Lullum and Patterson. The Forza Racing team on the pit wall, nervously watching their boys run one and two in the Junior World Cup Racing Championship. Lullum looks behind. Thompson is a long way back. 1.7 seconds, in fact, further down the road is Thompson. Gonzalez still doing a fine job in P4. How about Shihab al Habsi from Oman in the Middle East? The M Sport team driver from Grid 15 is now in position five. Just two steps off the podium is Shihab al Habsi. One spot ahead of the Brazilian Bortoleto. Greeks seventh, Bosco eighth, Muthi nine, and Zane Maloney. Position 10, but what could have been? So there's Thompson, there's Gonzalez. Starts to put up a little bit of a gap between himself and Al Habsi. Morth a little bit sideways coming on to the straight. Has got past Griggs, who's fallen back to ninth. And Maloney, Duan, Bernier, Potti, Rosso. The rest of the field stream through. Coluccio, Megotunif, Marcellia, Elias Seppinen. Still the only three retirements. Simmons, Kickenberg, and of course, Johnny Edgar. Lullum has closed right up on the back of his Forza Racing teammate. This is going to be a nail biter. We have got eight laps to go. Less than, in fact, as they go through the Bobby Gain curves. The Junior World Championship for 2017. They come through the Mike Wilson complex. Named after the great British six-time world champion, Mike Wilson, who is here trackside watching on. Now Patterson looks behind him. Lullum does likewise. We'll take the gap back to Thompson as Lullum puts in a fastest lap of the race. 2.4 seconds between the two drivers from London. Lullum back to Thompson. Thompson not even in the same shot. Patterson doing all the hard yards as they race down the hill. He's having to break the air. Again, Lullum looks behind him. Christopher Harry is a long way back. He will not catch you unless you come to grief with a move passing Dexter he's lining him up the move will come seven laps to go in the junior world championship Forza Racing running one and two here in England but it is the driver from just over the border Glasgow in Scotland Dexter Patterson who leads the way Lullum from down the road in London in second the gap down to 0.2 of a second over the ripple strip they go. Again, Lullum looks behind. Back to Thompson. Will the RFM team driver do something and catch the Forza Racing Pilots in front? Down to point one of a second. You can see how close they are. On your screen, Forza Racing with Billy Munger, their ex-driver, here in the grandstand watching on. Right on the tail of Patterson. Good passing opportunity coming up right here. Will he make the move? Oh, he thought about it. He's still got time. Five and a half laps remaining in this World Championship race here in England. Patterson, Lullum, still Dexter withstands the pressure. Into the Mike Wilson complex. Lullum will get the benefit of the slipstream. Patterson from the city of Glasgow in Scotland. A place made famous by the old firm derby between Rangers and Celtic. But they've got a star here this afternoon. He will write history. He can hold on for five laps, but Lullum will make a move, be assured, in the remaining five circuits. Over the bridge they go. Down the hill, Patterson has not put a Vega tyre out of place. Again, Lullum looks behind. Thompson is losing ground to the Forza Racing Team drivers. Here's an opportunity coming up. Lullum, will he make the move? No, again, he shadows Dexter. Forza Racing, the reigning European Championship winning team, running one and two here in the World Championships on their home turf. This is a nail biter. Patterson from Scotland, Lullum from England. They're both Brits, but they both want to win. Time starting to run out for Christopher. He's got the speed. Patterson, he's doing all the hard work onto the straight. He looks behind him. He will be able to hear that TM racing engine under the Litchfield Bridge. Here comes the move up the inside. No again. 
He drives the high line around the outside, up over the Litchfield Bridge. Can Patterson incredibly hold off the pressure as Lulla runs wide? They race down the hill here at Pier 5. The next hairpin coming up now is a good passing opportunity. Lulla looks behind. Thompson still 3.0 seconds down the road. Not close enough to make the move. The American Gonzalez still in P4. Shihab al Hapsi from Oman still in the top five. Into the Bobby Game curves. Three laps remaining at the end of this one. Lullum closes up right there. Identical X3 chassis, identical TM racing engines. The wee Scott Dexter Patterson looks behind. Tries to withstand the pressure. Lullum not as close. Will he launch coming out under the bridge? Patterson's got him covered one more time. The young boy from Glasgow following in the footsteps of famous Scottish racing drivers such as Frankiti, Di Resta, Coulthard, of course. Oh, he's gone wide. He's made an error and he knows it. He looks behind. Will Lala make the move again? Still can't go through. Is it going to come down to the last lap? Thompson is now four seconds behind this battle for the lead of the world championship. Into the Bobby Game curves. Lullum closes up in this part of the circuit. He has to make the move soon. Forza Racing 1 and 2. No, you're not watching a Formula 1 Grand Prix. These are not the Team McLaren drivers. This is Forza Racing fighting it out in the final laps of the Junior World Cup Racing Championships as Lullum has a look up the inside. They exit under the Litchfield Bridge. No room that time. Two laps now remaining. Patterson still leads as they come over the bridge down the hill for the penultimate time two passing opportunities coming up right here Lullum on his tail goes a little bit wide he'll get the run on the exit Patterson needs to cover him off he does exactly that now Thompson will catch them as they start to fight amongst themselves but he is four seconds back down the road Al Habsi I can tell you is up into position four an incredible drive for the young pilot from Oman for Team M Sport. So the British teams running one, two, three, and four. Forza Racing, Ricky Flynn Motorsport, and M Sport. Patterson still holds off the pressure from Christopher Lullum, who did start on the front row of the grid. 18 laps now in the books. This is it, the World Championship is on the line, up over the bridge. down the hill this is the final lap Patterson closes off this is a passing opportunity Lullum has to go up the inside but Dexter's watching him Forza Racing running one and two was that his last chance Dexter looks behind they go up the inside Lullum tries to go through can't do it into the Bobby Game curves I think he's going to hold on into the Mike Wilson complex will he put it up the inside Dexter holds it off. Oh, they almost make contact. The final few corners. History's about to be written. The young lad from Scotland, the checkered flag comes out. Dexter Patterson is the junior World Cup racing champion for 2017. Forza Racing go one and two to back up their European championship. And Harry Thompson comes home in P3. The Brits will dominate the podium here this afternoon. What a nail-biting, thrilling race. The boy from Glasgow is the new World Cup racing champion after withstanding enormous pressure from his teammate Christopher Lullum. Wow, what a race, ladies and gentlemen. Incredible stuff. We take a look at the highlights of the race. Thompson did lead off the start. The Englishman will be disappointed. We will see him on the podium, though. He led up over the bridge. Maloney, who was in this, and did lead. The first driver ever from Barbados to lead a World Championship final, albeit only briefly. Patterson forced his way into the lead. It was actually a nine-cart freight train early on. Ricky Flynn Motorsport running one and two. They traded positions. Maloney going through on Thompson. But the Forza Racing Team drivers worked together. This was the moment of the race. 
Maloney up the inside of Dexter. Lalum also making his way back through the field. But a move over optimistic took out two drivers there. You can see it was actually Alex Simmons. And say Maloney would finish the, the World Championship final, actually recovered for position number six. What could have been for the boy from Bridgestone? But the Forza Racing team drivers put on a masterful display this afternoon. They came one and two. They are the European champions. They are now the world champions. Dexter Patterson from Scotland has written his name into history. The wee lad from Glasgow beats home Christopher Lullum from London. Thompson also from London finishes in P3. But the Union Jack, one, two, and three. How about Shihab al Habsi? No one rated him. They thought if he made it through to the final, has he proven them wrong or what? The boy from Oman comes home P4. Tyler Gonzalez from Orlando in Florida, five. Maloney from Barbados, six. O'Neill Muth. Jack Doohan was eighth. Bortoletto, nine. And Luca Bosco, tenth in this, the World Championship. Bernier, Rosso, Griggs, Potti, Bamulado. If we go down through the order and classified in 34th position and last place is Johnny Edgar. He's the reigning European champion. He's passed the baton to his teammate, Dexter Patterson. Teammates, I should say, because Lullum will join him on the podium. It will be a very emotional Jamie Croxford. And also, as I mentioned, Billy Munger, great to see their former driver. He's here trackside, emotional scenes for Forza Racing. They are European champions, thanks to Johnny Edgar winning that title in Sweden. They are now world kart racing champions. Dexter Patterson writes his name into history. The lad from Glasgow wins the junior world title. Lullum second and Harry Thompson third place. We'll see those three drivers. We'll see three Union Jacks atop the podium here this afternoon. The Junior World Championships, the podium presentation in just a few moments. What an incredible race we have witnessed here this afternoon. Forza Racing, the European champions for 2017, and now they are the world champions as well. We're just waiting for the drivers to arrive up here on the podium. The Union Jack will sit atop one, two, and three. There will be emotional scenes, be assured. Also, how about Shihab al Habsi from Oman in the Middle East? Comes home fourth. An incredible drive. Tyler Gonzalez.
from Orlando in Florida, the United States was fifth. But the Brits run one, two, and three. The podium presentations here at the Paul Fletcher International Kart Circuit in Lincolnshire in England. Well, we started the weekend saying that Britain has had nine world karting champions since the sport's inception in 1963. They now have ten. And the first ever Scottish world champion. We're just about to get underway with the podium presentations here. As the drivers put the Vega caps on. Ladies and gentlemen, he qualified on pole position on Friday night, second in the European Championships. He's put on a brilliant display all year, all weekend. Third place for Ricky Flynn Motorsport. Let's hear it for Harry Thompson. <laughs> From London for Forza Racing. Please welcome the new Vice World Champion, Christopher Lullum. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Britain has had nine karting world champions up until now. Now they have 10 and they have their first ever Scottish world champion to the top of the podium from Glasgow for Forza Racing, Dexter Patterson. And representing the winning team, they are European champions, now they are world champions, Jamie Croxford. <laughs> As we stand by for the national anthem of the United Kingdom. I would now like to call upon Miss Caroline Johnson, MP, local member of parliament, to present the third place trophy to Harry Thompson. <laughs> Mr. Case Vandergren, the CIK FIA vice president, to present the second place trophy to Christopher Lullum. and the Chief Executive of the Motorsport Association here in Britain, Mr. Rob Jones, to present the trophy to the new world champion, Dexter Patterson. <laughs> and I'd like to invite three-time winner of the Le Mans 24 Hours, Mr. Alan McNish, to present the winning team's trophy to Jamie Croxford of Forza Racing. As the girls step in to present the flowers to Harry, Christopher and Dexter and Jamie. Ladies and gentlemen, your junior world championship podium.
tremendous teams here on the podium. Forza Racing, European champions, now world champions as well. Like to ask the girls to make the special presentations also of the Avio Milano timepieces and the Panther fuel vouchers. On Friday night, you drove that as hard as you possibly could. Tell us about your race here this afternoon. Well, yeah, starting off cold, it was good, but just got a little bit unlucky through the second half, and it just obviously wasn't meant to be, so I tried my hardest, and that's all I could do. Congratulations, Harry. You should be very proud of yourself, mate. Christopher Lullum, that was a nail-biting race. We know you gave it absolutely everything. You almost thought about making a move on the second last lap, but just couldn't quite get past Dexter. Yeah, he defended well, but we were fast enough to catch him, which was good. And it was a good race. Congratulations, Christopher. Dexter Patterson, you are the first ever Scottish world champion. You are the junior world karting champion. How do you feel? Um, I'm a bit speechless right now, but um, yeah, amazing. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Jamie Troxford and Fuzzer Racing and... Uh, GFR engines just and all my family for the support. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. This is the podium. Third place, Harry Thompson. Second place, Christopher Lullum. And the new junior world champion from Scotland, Dexter Patterson. The OK final in just a few moments.